I just want to show you how you can set up variants of products while selling digital files. So all you need to get started is you need a Shopify store, of course, and you'll need this app here, so it's downloadable digital assets. So you'll need to go to Shopify app store, install this app. It's got a free version, so you can use that one if you want to, or you can upgrade and use the higher versions. Um, so for example, the reason why you'd use variants is simply, for example, like a if you're selling a podcast or access to a podcast, you've got an ebook version and an audio version. This can be in so many different use cases, right? So what I want to show you is just be able how to set up these variants. So what you need to do is go to the Shopify dashboard, go to the products page. And because we're going to create a new product, we'll click add product. And then we'll just call it podcast again, just because we're on that track. Um, actually, let's try, we'll call it a film, just so it's different, and we can be able to track it easier. You can add an image, for example, I'm going to put a t-shirt there, because why not? <laughs> the price, because it's digital products, we don't want to track quantity, because there's no stock. Um, and it's a digital product, so we untick the physical product option. On new Shopify stores, they have a physical and digital product uh, checkbox. So all you need to do is uh, tick the digital product one. Um, so this is where we're going to add variants. It's in this options box here. So you want to check this. Then what we're going to do is call it type. And then because now we're selling a film, we can do like the file type or something. So maybe what we can do is like um, we can do mp4 and we can do um, stream so if you want to stream it um, obviously this is example purposes so all you need to do after you've done this is just click done um, and there you go so that's the variants created there if you scroll down a little bit you'll see variants the two of them are here so in Shopify they're essentially classed as their own separate products now so it can essentially split this product into two, MP4 and Stream. Um, you'll click Save. And now that's created those two variants. There you go. And then what you can do is you can go in each one and you can set all the different settings that you set in the product page. So you can give it an SKU, uh, a different price for each variant, a different image, and so on. So the next step is you want to go to the app, so you'll click on apps, click on the app here. Because I'm in a, a testing version, I need to go over this one. It will bring you to the home page, which is this one. But for now, what we're going to do is um, go to the products page. And you'll see that all the products and variants are automatically synced in from your Shopify store. So there's no need to recreate products in here. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go up to the assets page you want to upload your new assets whether you upload them as files or you can add a URL asset which means if you have the file hosted on like Google Drive or OneDrive or Dropbox similar um, you can add those in so the download links will be sent to the customer um, or you could even add a YouTube video. So if you want to, in the stream, so if we go back to here, in the stream section, you could just add a YouTube link. So you could add a URL asset. Like for example, if I go back to upload assets, add URL. Let's say, we're going to call it stream film next. Um, doesn't apply. Oh, we just put YouTube actually. Um... And then you'll put the YouTube link. So, example, it's just YouTube.com. You have to put a full URL. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, and then once the customer orders this, the product with this asset attached to it, they'll be delivered this link. Okay, done. All right, so now we've uploaded that asset. And let's say what we can do is um, rename this one film until film mp4 
Right, so we have the assets ready. We have film MP4. I know it's PDF, but it's just an example. And then we have the, where is it? There you go, stream film, download link. So what you can do, you can either go into the asset and then using this box, you can attach it to any product, which is what we can do here. So it's film MP4, so we want to put it onto the film product with the variant MP4. And attach it to this one. And then there's another way you can do it. You can go to products, go down to the film stream product. And then you can attach the stream version, which is this one, which we added before. You click that, and then you'll attach it to there. And then that's it. That that means you're ready to sell. Um, as long as assets are attached to the product, so in this case, film, the stream variant, once someone purchases this variant, this file will be delivered to them. Or in this case, this download link will be delivered to them. Um, it will be delivered by email because... On all plans as standard, emails get sent. You can turn these off in the settings if you want to. We'll go over and I'll show you it's in additional settings. So you can disable the emails if you want to. But in most cases, you'll want to keep them enabled. And you also can enable the download links to display on the checkout page. That means once they've purchased, on the thank you page, the download link will show. Or the, um, the YouTube link, for example, as well. Um, you can also enable this as well to show the download links inside the customer accounts order page. Um, these these two are available on the paid plans. So this one's on the professional plan and this one is available on all paid plans. You can obviously customize the download box, um, add anything you want. But yeah, that's basically the overview of how to set up variants in Shopify with digital products. If you ever get stuck with anything, just drop me a message at the contact page in the description and I'm more than happy to help.